Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Stardew Therapy where we talk about everyday issues and hopefully through this sharing you find some parts of it relatable and know that you are not facing these issues alone and us as a community can come together to share our experience, our advices to help one another and no matter where you are and who you are I suppose you can find some parts of it relatable and you know, we, we all go through the same emotions and same life stages Yeah, so that's that uh, today we'll be discussing uh, a problem that was submitted by our viewer. It's pretty general, so I'll try my best to talk about it. Essentially, the person wrote, hard time maintaining relationships with people, friends, etc. Et so I can't really give any specific advice, but I will, I will try my best to talk about it based purely on my, on my life. So, um, I think as an introvert, it can be quite tough. Hey, who is that? Here. Sorry, I, I, I'm going on a tangent. Hello there, the farmer. So, oh yeah, our first year is almost over, right? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive, sure. And some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I shall have one variety per season. And that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. Oh. Okay, you know, I wasn't even bother trying my comments. He looks so angry here. Here seeds are the highest quality seeds. This sounds so wrong man. All this talk about seeds. <laughs> oh well. He should have given me a discount if he does if he doesn't want me to visit the competitor seed, right? Makes sense. <laughs> Let me just chop this off. Ah crap. Anyway, um it can be very challenging as a introvert when it comes to I don't think we need wow seeds. Okay, never mind. Just let me sell some stuff first. Let me pick, pick this up. Okay, so the thing is, right, as an introvert, it can be quite tough to, to, to hang out with people, maintain relationships. I think the main issue here is that of the low energy, it's the social energy that is like, for me, is very low and it spans very, very quickly. And it, it's pretty frustrating though, like I need personal time, at the same time, sometimes I crave for social relationships as well, because you can get pretty bored when you're at home, all alone, every time, as much as I really like spending time alone. So I also feel kind of bad for not hanging out with my friends. And I think in university, everything was fairly easy because you have so much time, right? Let me just this tomorrow we are all gathering in front of Marnie's house for the festival of ice celebration of winter there'll be snowman okay cool is there anything that i need to prepare for okay that's fine yep so you know in in university college there's so much time on my hand and i there's so much abundance of energy university work is not that it's not that stressful i feel as compared to real work work so you know I mean, you get to hang out with friends every day, it's fine. And I get my, my, my dose of friendship and social experience, uh, social interactions. And, you know, it wasn't an issue until I started work. It became kind of an issue to man like uh, trying to maintain relationship because the thing is, when you go to work, right, have you experienced this, those who are working? It can be very draining, you know. Even though you sit in front of the computer all day, every day. Hey wait, how come there's no eggs? Oh yeah, it's, it's not there. Okay, never mind. Okay, so for those who, have work, who are working, right, you will experience it, isn't it? Like, you're, you're just sitting in front of the computer all day, but you just mentally drain, you know, as compared to like, you know, if you have past experience work, working at an F&B store, I think physical labor and mental labor is a very different kind of thing. You can, you can be physically tired and at the end of the day you go home I can still have the kind of mental capacity to watch shows and and just enjoy things but mental tired like mental labor it's a different kind of beast where where I just don't want to do anything and I find myself going back to like I don't know that's why TV live streams are a very um I don't know, for me, it's kind of a medium that I consume quite a fair bit once I started working. 
because I just want something that doesn't stimulate my mind that much. I want something that that's it's not not emotional at all. It's just normal, just to occupy my mind while I try to you know uh recuperate. But speaking about this whole low energy thing, so it makes it very hard for me to just like you know after work I go and meet my friends because I need that personal time to recuperate because. At work, I'm really speaking to people. Then now I have to speak to another people. Of course, they are my friends. I love them. But it's difficult. It's difficult. Like, I, I, I just even even if I meet them, right? I'm not doing. I'm not doing my job as a friend because I won't be able to interact with them. Like, I won't be able to talk to them, um, communicate and I don't know, create a good social, just creating a a good outing. A good meeting because i'll just be very tired the only way it will work is if i'm with a group of friends perhaps after work we, we meet as a group then it is somewhat easier because i don't have to do the talking so one on one meeting for me is uh it hardly ever happens and if it happens it will be like a friend that i hardly meet and we want to just we have so much things to talk about so that we you know we we just meet one on one and I can, I can guarantee we have a lot of things to talk about so I can be kind of in the safe side on the safe side where you know not really an issue me trying to carry the conversation worrying about it what is going on? how come there's no milk? are you serious? There's... oh wait oh, I can't believe it I keep forgetting about it like this the milk is collected here okay this is my second day no my first day after getting this item Sorry about it guys. Uh so it can be quite challenging here. Um and and I noticed that as well. E even during the weekends, because weekends is where you know you hang out with your friends, perhaps or you hang out with your partners and everything. And I really cherish the weekends because weekends is where I have no work at all. I have a lot of time on my hand. I can I can relax, have my personal time. But sometimes you know my friends want to hang out. And that's fine, but it kind of irks me a little. But I know, you know, I, I, I still enjoy social, like, like this kind of social outings. But sometimes I just want to be alone. But I know that I need to go out because if I don't go out, I'll feel very lonely and depressed at one point. So, so I probably should. It, I think most, most of the time is the, is, is the issue where um, the, the outing, the experience itself, it's, it's enjoyable but it is the aftermath where i feel so tired where i have no more energy left that's the annoying part I, it's not really a, a issue with my friends and everything yeah so i try to remind myself because I, i'm one of those people that don't ask people out i think maybe it's just a mixture of past experiences and um, being betrayed by friends, opening up, being vulnerable, and eventually getting betrayed. It's a very young thing. When I was young, these kind of things happen. And also a mix of uh, low self-esteem, insecurities, where I don't dare to kind of be proactive in things. I don't dare to, you know, in conversations, I don't dare to share. I've, I think when I was young, I like to share a lot of things. But eventually, I become more of a listener than, than sharing. And, and if I were to share now, right? I need to get a reaction from people. Then I can get a visible feedback that, you know, what I'm sharing is valuable and they care. And if, if I share things, right, and they don't give any reaction, I kind of feel like I, I get a bit discouraged. So I don't know. It's just how I, how my brain works. So we are kind of in this position. I'm kind of in this position where I don't really proactively ask people out unless I really want to meet them. And that can be quite tough. And I recognize that, um, I think after I graduated from college, I realized it's like, you know, sometimes you need to show your effort. You need to show that you care as much as, you know, I think I've seen a few articles before. They talk about how people who don't ask people out, who are just waiting to be asked out. They actually are not in the, they actually don't hate you. They just like, maybe it's a factor of social energy, low self-esteem insecurities or something. But I, I recognize that and I'm, I feel that I have the position and the autonomy to make a change. 
to perhaps be more proactive in the relationship. So I try my best. I try my best to ask people out if possible and plan things. Yeah. So so that's that. I probably shouldn't be selling this away, right? All these mushrooms. Because I can create that that giant potion that can heal a lot of things. Why oh, spine? I think I just keep these two for now. So that I can go to the dungeon. Uh let me just put this in. So that's that's that. Um I think I'm not quite sure what your problem is, like how what is the cause of um, having a hard time maintaining um relationships. But for me it's mainly these issues where where just a mixture of low self-esteem, having very low energy, and and just I don't know, it's just it can be tough man trying to manage time because you have seven days in a week right then monday to friday i am really working and i'm very tired and, and I sometimes, sometimes i just wonder you know how am i going to get a relationship here because monday to friday i'm so tired and i don't even have personal time you know then i mean if you are in a relationship at least you need to meet like two to three times a week right how does that happen i mean then where where do i find my personal time I feel that my personal time has to be like a, a, a full day, like two full days. But then, I mean, two full days is impossible, right? If you are going to meet your partner, perhaps have, you have dinner during one of the weekdays after work. Then afterwards, during the weekends, you spend time together, right? So it, it makes zero sense. It's very hard though. And at the same time, I want to do things that I enjoy, right? I want to create content then like where do i find more time for that where do i find more time so it can be hard that's why you see like you know for those who are single and your friends are like perhaps if you're in your 20s you kind of see this problem happening if you're single you will see all of your friends who are getting like in a in a in a relationship they start to disappear right in some sense like they have less time not really disappear but they have less time to hang out because most of their time is spent hanging out with their partners because I mean you have work you are not in college anymore I mean if you are in college in high school there's so much time you can spend time with your friends you can spend time with your partners whatever not but now it's slightly different it's either your friends or your partner sometimes your friends because your, par your partner might want to meet their friends as well so this makes it very challenging and I know that deep down I really enjoy all this um, you know, hanging out with friends. So I try my best to meet them as much as possible because I know that eventually they won't be able to meet us or meet me because um, you know, we are at the stage where they are getting married, they are proposing, they are going to have children in about 2-3 to three years time. And when they have their children, they they won't have time to to hang out anymore it's either we go to their house but do they really want to invite me to their house no right because they're so busy taking care of their kid i mean the first what 10 years they need to kids needs to be constantly taken care of right they need the attention then they don't have attention for your friends all right i mean that's how it is so i mean i suppose on a on a related note, there's also an urgency to find a partner, right? For me. To find a partner to kind of like continue a continue to have a social kind of relationship. Like if I don't have it, I, I think I might be a bit too depressed. I think even as a introvert, sometimes I need that, right? right? And for those who are introverted, might might know might have that feeling as well. I mean, you can go for I think it this whole experience has been put to the test during COVID period. Oh, what is this? Elvish Jewelry. Oh, Gunther can tell you more about it. Okay, sure. Um, It has been put to the test during COVID because in COVID, like at the start of COVID, about 2020, right? The start of 2020, there was a period where the entire world was locked down and everybody had to stay at home. And that was a period that put it to the test because I thought, oh, 
introvert. I mean, I can, I enjoy being alone, so it's not going to be an issue. But staying at home for six, six over months, almost to a year, and not being able to meet your friends, oh, that's mental. It's absolutely mental. So I realize there's a limit. As much as I'm, I'm an introvert, I can stay at home, have fun. But, but there's a there's a limit for sure. And I and I realize I learned that I need some form of social experience, some sort of social interactions, and that's why I really enjoyed those like um rare times right when we were in lockdown, and then that was a that was a time where we just graduated. We couldn't go overseas and like we couldn't go for graduation trips, graduation outings, and all these things. Uh, we were all just kind of uh taking a break, looking for work. And then everybody saw this thing uh, at home and we were playing. Like, I mean, we managed to meet a few times online where we play games like, you know, Among Us. That was the time where Among Us became very popular, right? So that was quite interesting. And we played other games like Jackbox as well. I don't know. I think I'll remember it for the rest of my life. This is such an interesting moment. You have everybody <laughs> meeting online and just playing games and really enjoying it. And now it's like, lockdown is kind of like there's not much lockdown anymore right and and we don't really do this kind of online game session which is unfortunate because i feel that this is probably the best way to hang out right if you think about it everybody is busy so instead of spending time traveling meeting out with people where we can't stay late because we have to take the last train home train don't operate 24 7 right and and you might as well just all stay at home the comforts of our own home. We don't spend any additional money drinking, eating restaurants, uh, and then we can just play games. Isn't that fun? I don't know, man. <laughs> Somebody needs to take, take the initiative, right? As opposed to organize these kind of things. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. Hopefully, what I shared, I don't know, some parts of it is relatable. Um, I tried my best to talk about it based on my experience, and yeah. For those of you who are listening for the first time, if you didn't know, there's a Google form below where you can just talk about your problems and you can just send, submit or send it to me. And you don't have to write your name. There's no name column there. Just write your problem. Or if you, can, what, if you want to kind of sign off your name, it's fine. I mean, it's good. I can identify you. I can say who you are. I mean, I would say like, oh, John, you, can, you, don't, you don't have to put your full name. You can just put a like a first name or last name or something yep so you write your problem you submit it to us then i'll talk about it and hopefully i hope that this this channel and community grows because i think the more we grow it's not about the money uh, and not about fame if i want fame i'll show my face and and i mean like i can do other things right but it's all about trying trying to get it to grow as much as possible sharing with people and the more people we have in this community, the more people who watch it, this video can come together and share their, their personal experience as well. And we can help one another out. So like essentially leveraging on, I don't know, the internet, so to speak. I mean, and that is something that you don't see anywhere else, right? It's always like, you know, I mean, I, 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 I myself don't have the, the finances to visit a therapist. So what's the next best option? Then I was thinking about it like perhaps the next best option is to have something like this where people can just share their experiences and share how they overcome it and through this collective sharing you can learn something I can learn something and manage my my emotions better or manage my problems better and this is free right? I mean I'm not charging anything it's free on YouTube so that's the goal because I, I mean we gotta be honest here right if you don't have money you can't find a therapist then the next best option is just telling yourself it's okay you know you have seen that meme before <laughs> somebody created a meme finding a therapist costs like x amount of money telling yourself it's okay costs zero <laughs> right so why not create a zero dollar option that is much better than telling yourself it's okay because we have somebody or you and i to tell one another it's okay that makes it better right because if you know that somebody out there is having the same problems as you 
it's a reassurance that you are not the unlucky one and at the same time you can glean some insight from our experience isn't it so so that's that's the goal here that's the goal i think i've spoken for quite quite some time a bit too long really sometimes i get a bit concerned for talking too long and i i don't think anybody has the mental capacity or attention to to watch a video for 30 minutes right i mean i can watch a netflix show for 30 minutes but watching a youtube video i don't know so maybe it's a tiktok brain but I don't use TikTok at all. I don't belong to I don't belong to the TikTok generation. But anyway, that's that. Uh, I hope all of you have a great day, and I will see you all uh, in the next video.